I've had a lot of people ask me why I chose ABS to build my FGC9 and how I succeeded. And there were a lot of reasons for that, but first I'd like to address a couple of things. I don't consider the FGC9 to be a practical weapon. It's, it's a project for people that want to challenge themselves. If you're looking for a reliable firearm to protect yourself or whatever, just go to a dealer, get one, get a Springfield or you know, whatever. This is, it's not a toy, but it's not a serious weapon either. Uh, that being said, I built one uh, and I did use ABS and there are some reasons for that. Uh, one, I consider PLA for this type of project to be an inferior material, um, mainly because it's glass transition point, which that's the point where it transitions from very rigid to pliable. Um, which I think for PLA is around 60 C, uh, 140 degrees Fahrenheit, give or take. So if you leave it in the back of your car on a hot summer day, the thing's going to get bendy, and that's really not something you want out of a gun. ABS has a much higher glass transition point, so it can handle the heat better. It's also a really durable material. Uh, so I, I think it's much more practical for this type of project, it, but it is harder to work with. You have to maintain the temperature. Uh, to do that, I you know, built an enclosure. Uh, it's actually a cardboard box with rubber on the outside. This rubber, if you can see, is, is actually made from mats that came off the counter at a Napa Auto Parts store. Uh, every month, um, at the end of the month, they change and put new mats on. So if you're in there at the right time, you can get a hold of them. And they're rubber backed, so I, I think they're decent insulation. On the inside, Ah. On the inside, I used this bubble wrap insulation material from Lowe's and some styrofoam. I, re I really insulated the bejesus out of it. Put this in there to take up space so I didn't have as much space to keep warm. Uh, so that worked, that worked really well. I also put a light bulb inside there to help keep the temperature up. As far as print bed adhesion, I went through everything. I, I tried glue sticks and hairspray and uh, slurry and print mats and just everything. Um, what finally worked for me was a combination. I put those little adhesive uh, print bed mats on my print bed and then when I got the temperature up then I added a slurry on top of that. And it seems like overkill but man the print stuck to that. I had to destroy the mats to get the print off which is fine they're cheap. I just bought a stack of them. That in combination with my insulated box worked great. The other question I've gotten quite a bit about this is how I achieved the finish. It's easy. Um, I just took cans of um, flat camo paint from the hardware store, painted the pattern I wanted, and then I just took sandpaper and sanded it. What you see there are the print lines. So that's the, the gist of how I succeeded. Once I got it done, got the barrel made and everything, uh, took it down to the range, and I was honestly stunned. Um, it fired the first time, and it continued to fire. I put a couple hundred rounds through it now and it hasn't failed yet. It cycles every time and fires uh, decently accurate. I mean about what you'd expect out of a homemade pistol. Um, I think it turned out pretty well. I'm happy with it. Um, currently working on a much, much upgraded version so stay tuned. <laughs>